hey everybody welcome and welcome back to the channel please don't forget to like comment share the video as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you guys ever been like going somewhere with someone or about to go do something with somebody and they're just like you know they're taking the lead and everything and you just stop for a second to ask them like yo are you sure about this or you sure you know where you're going? Like, you sure you're not lost? Or are you sure that we're going to get the reaction that we're expecting when you go and you do this thing? And then they tell you, like, yo, actually, I mean, I don't, I don't really know, I guess. Like, we'll see. I mean, we'll see when we get there. We're about to find out, right? Or anything like that. And um, that has to be one of the most... <laughs> terrifying moments of our lives when the person who's supposed to be leading us into an action a destination something does not even know or is not even sure about the very thing that they're leading us to themselves <laughs> and so it baffles me because you know we'll put our trust in one another whether it's just for a short period of time or longer and for some reason it is so difficult for us to put that same level of trust in the creator himself and i know of course we can't see him physically you know in human form right now but if we really think about it he really is our best bet i mean if the people next to us most times don't even have a clue of what they're doing or if what they're about to do is actually certain then why not take a chance on God? You know, it's like, why not? We tried it our way, we tried whatever. And some people might be thinking like, well, I mean, I don't trust nobody or that's why I don't really put my trust in nobody. Well then honey, then you don't trust yourself either because you're a part of that nobody, that part of that, some, that nobody that you don't trust because you can't add a single minute or hour to your life. You can't stop yourself from dying. You can't raise yourself from the dead. You can't walk next to someone who is dead and tell them get up and then they'll actually get up. Like, you can't tell the car, don't crash. Like, if we really think about all of the things that we think we have control over, we really do not have control over anything. The very few things that we have control over are like things like our attitude and our reaction to the 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 things that happen to us in life so that's why perspective is a very very powerful thing but i mean speaking of control it's like god's never failed you know he's pretty confident in himself he's not like somebody who's like i mean let's go do this and let's go see what happens or you know i don't really know but we'll see or we're about to find out like why not put your trust in him Nowhere in the Bible does it ever show God doubting himself. Nowhere in the Bible does it ever show Jesus unsure about anything when it comes to himself or when it comes to God. <laughs> so while we go around and we try driving ourselves crazy by trying to plan for everything and trying to think that we really have it all mapped out, I think that it's wise that we take a moment and we understand that we really do not have as much control as we think we do. We don't have any, to be honest. Whatever we think we have control over, we really don't have control over it. It's just a falsehood control, you know? It's a false, it's a false sense of control that we make up in our minds to give ourselves a sense of security and um, just peace. But those are moments of peace. And I'll tell you this, that there's a difference between having moments of peace and actually having peace, true peace. Just like having moments of happiness and then actually being happy. So I don't know about you, but I would much rather be fully at peace. And there can be times in my life where I'll feel a little doubtful. I'll feel a little discouraged. I'll feel a little bit unsure. But in the center, at the core of me, I'm at peace and that's what we should all be striving for and the only true way to get to that is by trusting in God and what does trust require 
it requires for us to relinquish all of our control the control that we think we have anyway <laughs> you know like we can't have faith in god while still having control full control of our lives and at the same time it just does not work it doesn't work because faith in itself is to give up the control that you think you have is to say you know what i don't know but i'll go anyway i don't know but i'll trust you anyway i'll do what you say anyway and since God is not a blind person, you know you're not being led by the blind. So, like, what what is there not, you know, to trust in? So it's just very, very important for us to break out of these habits that have held us captive for so long. Where we're going around in circles and going on this hamster wheel where we're trying to control our lives. When we know that if we just give it to God, he will take care of us and, you know... Like, he's the one who has the final say-so. I know uh, tough habits are hard to break. Because if you've allowed one way of doing life to carry you for so long, it's going to be challenging to walk by faith. That's understandable. But it's about you making that decision of, God, I trust you, and I'm letting go of my sense of control. And then after that decision, there's work to be done. Because the decision is instantaneous it's a moment thing but trusting god is a process giving it all to god that's a process and he needs that process in order to grow us in order to change us that's the whole idea behind the faith based walk with christ is to transform us and to renew us and he can't do that by just placing us where we want to be Imagine if at the tender age of 15 or 16, when you really are dying to have a car and to drive, you have no driving experience, you've never even taken your, you know, your driver's permit written exam. You know, you don't know the first thing about driving. You can envision in your mind that you just steer the wheel and there's the gas and there's the brakes and you look out for traffic. But imagine if your parents just gave you the keys and then boom, go drive. I mean, come on now. So there's no growth, but when you've actually been, you know, having to take the test and being taught how to drive, going through the experience of that journey, that learning of how to drive. And then when you actually start driving and you learn the responsibilities of being behind the road and the responsibilities financially that come with you having a vehicle and things of that sort, then it's all worth it. You take life a lot more seriously when you're behind the road because you're not a 15, 14, 16 year old that doesn't have any experience and doesn't have any any knowledge of how to drive and you're just placed behind a wheel. So that's basically what we're asking God to do for us when we're like, God, I mean, I have this issue and I want you to, you know, fix it for me. Just do it. Like, I want to know. I want to know, like, how, like, let me see how it's going to happen, how it's going to go. The only way you're going to see is if you walk the path, you go through with it. You getting to the destination is not, does not equal transformation. You going through, walking through the path, going through the journey, that is what, is what creates transformation. But if someone just places you somewhere, someone just places you in a position of leadership, in a position of power, somebody just blesses you with riches, you're just born rich, come on now. Chances are you're probably not even going to know how to handle the money. You're probably not going to have any, any, any core values inside of you to know how to treat people who don't have the same amount of money as you do and all of that. So that's why it is very important that we do not neglect the process. And we just let it go and just give it to God. Because he's really the one that has all of the control. The only thing that we can control is our attitude and the things we do from the things that happen to us. So our attitude is, God, I'm trusting you. And what we're going to do is whatever you tell me to do. That's it. I mean, I know it's a lot easier said than done, but you have to understand that God is not a God who is unsure. You know, he is very, very confident in himself. And nothing catches him by surprise. So the sooner you realize that you don't have any control over life, I'm, the happier, the more at peace you will be, okay? So 
um please let me know if this made any sense to you um and if it resonated with you in any way um don't forget to comment like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already